Let's see, there is a bull elk over here. Uh, it doesn't look terrible. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to shoot him. Let's see, can I do it prone? I can't even go prone. Come on. Where is he? There, that's a good shot. That'll take him down. And uh, yeah, we'll just cross right over here. So today we are hunting on, if it's not already obvious, um, Timbergold Trails. And mostly we are in search of big bull elk. And uh, we're going to go set up a tent up by the bighorn for easy, ease of travel in the future. Probably hunt some of them too. And uh, yeah, that should pretty well do it for the video. So we'll start off with this guy. I'm not sure how big he is and he get a wonderful look. But um, yeah, good start to the video. Okay, here we are. Here is our elk. So we're looking for something over 380, and uh, he's going to be 342. All right, decent elk. Um, yeah, I'll take a trophy shot of him. I'm not going to tax him, but uh, yeah, great start to a uh, video. All right, right there looks like a pretty good shot, so we will take that picture. And uh, yeah, we'll accept him, and we're going to move on. Keep looking for elk. That's uh, I didn't even go that far. It's the first animal I saw from the outpost. So maybe that's a sign for better things to come. It's a nice looking bull here. It's uh, hard to tell he's in the brush. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, we should get a should get a shot of him once he comes into the clear a little more. And I just remembered I've got my elk call, so I'm going to bring him in just a little more. Yeah, a few more steps forward and we'll have them. In fact, I can probably even go prone. I can't. Yeah. But right there, as soon as he stops, I can take that. That should have been a good hit. Probably single lung. So we're going to go pick him up now. And uh, I don't know. It, it's hard to tell if he looks that big, but we'll definitely get a better look at him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a lung heart hit. And he is piled up in the brush here, so I still can't really get an idea. 320, okay. Not super huge, smaller than our last, right? Yeah. So, but I'm going to get, a, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to take a trophy shot, but I do want to get a better look at the, the actual elk. So let's do that. Now, where'd he go? Yeah, it's not, not terrible. I mean, it's definitely bigger out there. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and leave that window and cool next elk hopefully is a 380 plus there's a few elk over here there's one there and there's one in there further and uh this one in front looks wide but i don't know if he's that big but the one behind him i didn't get a good look at so who knows but i think i'm gonna lay on the call a little bit and try and get them to come closer so that one behind actually looks, that guy looks, wow. Well, it's hard to tell, actually. I think this guy might be bigger. I don't think either of them are going to be 380, but, you know, we'll shoot them either way. I thought she just took off. But, I mean, I could shoot him, but I have the crossbow, so I might as well try to get them both. So I'm going to keep calling, and hopefully one of them gets closer to me and I can get a good shot. So he is right in front of us. I haven't seen the second one come out yet, but we'll take him. I mean, obviously he's getting really close here. So we'll let him stop again and then I'll take the shot. That was good enough. I didn't need to let him stop at that range. Look at that. Right next to us. I don't think he's very big. Um, I'd like to see that other one. I don't know if it was bigger or not, but be nice to see him. We'll pick him up after... Well, actually, you know what? I'll just pick him up right now. Okay, he is going to be heavier, I think. Oh, 347. Another nice one. I mean, in comparison to that 320. I want another trophy shot. Don't think I'm gonna... 
So let's hope that other one's bigger then. And hopefully I can get a shot at him. Nope, yeah, there he is. Yeah, I, I don't think he's bigger than the one we just shot. But there's one really good way to find out. He's got a lot of points, it looks like. I mean, I guess I could shoot him with the bow, he's, since he's kind of coming. But, um, I don't know, I might just shoot him with the rifle. We'll see. This doe is going to have to, or cow is going to have to get shot, though. So I might just take him with the rifle, and then she'll run away. In fact, let's just do that, I think. But he disappeared now. Okay, so when I see him again, I'll shoot him. There he is. So we'll let him stop, and then I'll take him. There. That'll take him down, and I don't know... I don't think he's bigger. He looks a little smaller, but uh, I don't know what we're going to find out shortly. All right, what do we got here? We got A, around the same weight. Okay, yeah, 331. So he's just kind of right around, um, you know, that area that we've been seeing. Just trying to get a better look at him. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of lacking in mass, I think, too. But... Uh, That'll do it for that guy, and uh, we'll probably take a little bit further walk towards this next lake and see um, if we can find another elk, and after that I'll probably go up and look for bighorn. So I was just about to go put up a tent on uh, up in the mountains for bighorn, and then this guy called. And I don't have any ammo. Why don't I have any ammo? Well, that would have been bad. Oh, well, he's kind of coming this way. Maybe we try him with the bow. Well, I'm not sure how that hit him. But, uh, it looked fairly good. I'm gonna go see what kind of blood that was and see if we got him or didn't get him. So it is actually uh, heart and lung blood. So I'm guessing we probably single-lunged him, and he probably won't be too far, so we're just going to track him up here and uh, find him. I don't know how big he was. He looked kind of wide, and his main beams look long, but it's hard to say. I'm still not good at estimating them. So I'm curious where I shot him, because it started out lungs and heart, and there was a lot of blood, and then all of a sudden uh, it switched. He's, he's still alive, isn't he? Or is he stuck? Let's see. No, he's stuck. Well, that's neat. Well, that's kind of like, uh, I think I've seen pictures in real life where the elk try to sneak through some branches and they end up hang hanging themselves up in there, but uh, it's kind of neat how he died in this little grove. But anyway, I'm curious how I hit him. Switch to intestine. Okay, so right lung intestine, that's why. And a 362, so that's actually our, probably our best one so far. So I'm definitely going to take a wow. Trophy, uh, trophy shot. I think that looks pretty neat right there. And it, yeah, it is our biggest elk, so I might as well get a good trophy shot. Looks pretty cool. Let me go ahead and accept that. I'm not going to tax him. He's still not above that 380. Um, and I, uh, I'm going to go set that tent up for some bighorn and probably hunt them for a brief little bit and then come back to finish up on some elk because I do have a competition running or a couple I think so I got my tent set up and now I have it looks like two um, I wanted to say reindeer there but two big horn with some curl to their horns that guy looks pretty decent but I'm gonna try to get them both I think so I'm just gonna get set up over here and take a long shot on one of them Oh, there they both are. That one does does look bigger. <sighs> Holy crap, I dropped him. I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to do that. That was a pretty long shot. I'm um, wondering if this guy's going to stop and render. Probably not. We should be able to get a, a shot off at him, too. So there's our guy. Looks like I might have spooked him a bit. 
but I get to this rock over here and then I can uh, get, hopefully get a shot off of him. But I didn't actually look to see where our other one's laying, so I'm gonna have to do some searching because I uh, didn't see him on the way. So let's see, can I get on this rock? Yes, good. All right, there he is, let's get the gun out. And now I'll just wait for him to stop. That'll get him down. There he goes. Uh, all right, looks like he's gonna be hung up there. So now I think that red blip right there, yep, that's our other bighorn. We'll pick him up and then we'll go get the uh, far one. All right, our first bighorn is laying here. And uh, I haven't hunted them in a bit, so that looks like a nice sized animal. Well, let's see, looking for 180. Uh oh, nope, 147. I'm gonna get a better look at him. Let's put him like that to look at him. Ah, nice looking animal. But anyway, we're not gonna do anything with him. And then, uh, we'll check out the other one, but I'm pretty certain this one was bigger, so, um, I doubt this guy's going to be any bigger than that. Alright, sheep number two is laying right here. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, not definitely not as big, but pretty certain it's not as big. Say, oh, actually I think that's almost a, almost exactly the same score. Let's see what he looks like in comparison. I guess he looks pretty similar. Huh. Well, we're still not doing anything either way with him. <laughs> Oh gosh, well, that was terrifying. Um, let's see. I think we're probably going to end up uh, wrapping this video up here. So, uh, it was a lot of fun hunting. I, this is probably one of my favorite maps to hunt for elk, so far anyway. Um, I really want to get an elk, a nice trophy elk in the lodge. So, I'm probably going to keep working towards that on various maps. But, for now, that's going to end it for today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.